Hello there, I'm Mari McMullen from the Center for Family Care. Today we're going to talk about the next trail marker on our pilgrimage to Pascha, which is prayer, specifically in the home. Why is this such an important step for us in general, but especially during Lent? Praying as a family is the best way that we can extend the liturgical life of the church into our homes so that there is a seamless connection between them. The two should mirror each other. If we only go to liturgy once a week with no other prayer life between Sundays, there's no connection established between the church physical and the church of the home. And without that daily connection to God, our spiritual life becomes dry and lifeless. For those families with children, the age-old adage, monkey see, monkey do, rings true. We can talk about church all day, but if our children do not truly see us living it, eventually they will drift away, having never been anchored in the daily life of faith. So, that all being said, how do we practically establish and or build on this life of prayer during Lent? First things first, it's important to set the mood, if you will. If you have not already, create an icon corner in your home. Since we live in this weird time of social media where it's really easy to compare our life with someone else's that we may see online, I think it's important to keep in mind that while it's amazing if you have the ability to set up a prayer corner like this, it's just as amazing if your prayer corner looks like this. All that is important is that you establish a place where the family knows they can gather to pray. Secondly, institute or build on your family's daily rhythm of prayer. If you already pray as a family once or twice a day, try to add a little more on. One easy way to do this is to add the prayer of St. Ephraim into your daily prayer rule with frustrations. Since we only say this prayer during Lent, this is a great way to remember the daily pillars set forth for this time. Even the youngest members of the family, while they may have trouble standing or sitting attentively or even attending family prayer time, will be able to participate. Our little toddler tends to flit in and out and around the room during prayers, but he always runs to join in with the physical prostrations. If you have no established family prayer time, try to create one during this time. There are many Orthodox prayer books you can order online or can even print off by doing a quick internet search. Another way to keep the connection strong between church and home is to listen and learn to sing some of the basic hymns from the Lenten services. I've compiled a list of recordings and texts in English here for families to use. My last suggestion for Lenten family prayer time is to get into the habit of sensing the house once a week. Saturday nights before liturgy could be a great place to start. This is also another exciting thing for littler children as it involves physical movement and the sweet smell of incense. One of the things I love most about orthodoxy is that it appeals to all five senses. These are some of my ideas for establishing and building on family prayer time during Lent, but I would love to know what your family traditions and routines are. Message or leave a comment on this video to let me know. Have a blessed Lent.